Hello and welcome to the Web Certain Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Advertising fuels growth for global search engines. Brands are expected to move more towards experiential marketing. And 8 in 10 Indians access the web through mobile. Alphabet has seen its profit during Q4 2016 fail to hit forecasts, despite the company seeing an overall profit rise of 8%. Much of the growth has been fueled by Google advertising revenues, which grew by 17.4%. PPC ads saw a 36% growth fueled by the increase of advertising across mobile and YouTube. It's thought that Alphabet's failure to hit overall forecasts is due to spiraling costs after the launch of its new Pixel Smart Firm. Meanwhile, Naver reported a record year in 2016 after becoming the first South Korean company to see revenue of over 4 trillion won. Continuous growth in advertising revenues and overseas sales were largely responsible for the achievement. However, Naver's success came despite seeing falling user numbers on its Line messaging app, down 3 million users from 220 million in Q4. This compares badly to rivals Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp, who both saw user numbers increase yet again. It's expected that digital media spending will reach 118 billion US dollars by 2021 as brands focus on experiences. The study was undertaken by market research company Forrester, who expects to see a shift away from quantity towards quality within the next five years. The report said that marketing budgets are likely to head towards brand experiences in store experiences and CX. It was also added that many companies are wasting impressions which can annoy consumers and will now shift towards a more holistic and integrated approach. Also noted was the fact that millennials are now entering a high spending phase of life, forcing brands to invest heavily in digital to attract the $600 billion demographic. It was forecast in a blog post from Shah Van Boskirk, principal analyst at Forrester, that paid search, display advertising, social media advertising, online video advertising, and email marketing will pace to 46% of all advertising before the end of 2021. More than 79% of Indians connected to the web now access it through mobile. This means that India's average mobile penetration lies nearly 20% ahead of the global average, in part due to increasing sales of cheap handsets. The report from We Are Social and Hootsuite also revealed that the total number of internet users in the country now stands at 462 million. However, the study also showed up a large gender gap in India's Facebook user base. It was found that over three quarters of Facebook users in the country are male, even though India has the second highest number of Facebook users just behind the USA. It's believed that the problem lies in cultural values in the country, which have in the past banned single women in small communities from using the social network to stop them talking to other single men. Facebook commented on the issue, saying that it was committed to bringing women online through various initiatives and allowing their voices to be heard. US President Trump has signed an executive order threatening the newly formed EU-linked Privacy Shield. Nearly 1,500 businesses are currently signed up to the data transfer framework, which assures EU citizens' data privacy even when stored in the US. However, Donald Trump has since signed a Privacy Act, which states that it will ensure that their privacy policies exclude persons who are not United States citizens. It's been stated by MEP Jan Philipp Albrecht that this invalidated the previously agreed privacy shield. It means that after becoming effective, EU citizens' data would no longer have any legal protection in the US. Businesses affected would include the likes of Facebook, Google and Microsoft, who are all part of the deal. 
And finally, Facebook has introduced a Snapchat-style stories feature to its main app in Ireland. Currently only in the testing phase, Facebook has announced that it hopes to launch the feature around the world in the coming months. This is the latest attempt by the company to decrease Snapchat's market share after launching Snapchat-like features on Instagram and an attempted acquisition of Snapchat itself. The Stories feature will allow users to use filters, stickers and captions on video and photo, which can then be posted together as a short video. That's all from me today. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out our Catch Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos and more. See you next time.